What is up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Minty Badger here, and I'm coming at you with another uh, kind of gaming haul of what I picked up for the past few days. Uh, some pretty good finds. Uh, before we start, look at how cool is this t shirt? I'll stand up and show you. Woo! Awesome t shirt. Um, so, yeah, <clears throat> I picked up some games again, uh, kind of a mix between PlayStation 2 and Xbox and Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. So, I'm just going to get right in and show you these guys because this is going to be a quicker video than usual, which you can tell because I'm talking really fast. Um, because I've got my girlfriend coming up because it's our anniversary today. Uh, and then obviously we'll be going out. We're going out today to the cinema to see. Um, is it Sherman and Mr. Peabody? Yeah, that one. And then we'll be going out on Valentine's Day. But I've got some a uh, couple stuff planned. Like I think we're going to do some challenges and stuff uh, on Valentine's Day for the channel. So it'll be quite nice to see that. So I'm just going to get in this, guys. Um, I'll do them in the order that I got them. So first of all, I managed to pick up. <coughs> um, and if I keep saying um, maybe I'm meditating. Yeah, go with that. If you guys have got an original Xbox, that sounds really bright. If you guys have got an original Xbox, uh, and you'll know how good this game is, I managed to pick up uh, Conquer. There we go, yeah. <laughs> Which is a really, really great game. I used to, I love this game. It was so funny. Uh, it was so brutal as well, some stuff in it, but it was, it was brilliant game. <laughs> and that was complete. Which I was happy with that. Then I managed to pick up uh, the Da Vinci Code for the PlayStation 2. That sounds getting really, really bright. Uh, and that was complete. Then I picked up The Sopranos, Road to Respect, which is awesome because I love that show. And that was also complete. Uh, I managed to find, this was quite a rare one, the guy says it's not usually a common one to get in, uh, Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, which is awesome. That was complete as well. So um, I've not played this yet, I can't wait to play this because I love Jurassic Park. And then it was a DVD I picked up, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, because that's one of my favourite films from when I was younger. So I thought it was pretty good thing. Then I went into another shop. And picked up Far Cry 3 for the PlayStation 3. I've heard quite good things about this. And it was only 5 quid, so me can go wrong. And that is complete. Then I picked up the first Devil May Cry for the PlayStation 2. A uh, brilliant set of games. The recent, most recent one was pretty good as well. Quite enjoyed that for the Xbox. Uh, that was complete. I picked up Hitman 2 Silent Assassin. I hate those cases with silver around it. Uh, that wasn't complete, that uh, didn't have a manual, but I wasn't too bothered about that because I mean, I'll hopefully Hitman have played them for all the years. And then I managed to pick up the first of a Mafia game, which is awesome because I love the second one, so pretty sure this one will be good. And uh, that was complete and I actually came with the map inside there showing you the whole city. And then last uh, on the list, I picked up Skyrim uh, for 360 and Oblivion for the 360 because Elder Scrolls is coming out pretty soon. Um, and basically, I kind of want to get back. I've never I've had Skyrim, and I got rid of it because I wasn't too keen on it. But I thought to myself, give it a try since the Elder Scrolls is coming out, and I want to try and get back into that. And Oblivion as well. Uh, I think I had that at some point, and I wasn't really sure what to do with it. Two for twenty was quite annoying because usually Skyrim's like eight quid, and Oblivion's five. But game games got this really stupid deal on the now where they're doing all the pre-owned games for two for twenty, which is a real kick in the nuts because they're usually a lot cheaper. And then for the PlayStation 3, I picked up Hitman Absolution. I had this on Xbox, absolutely amazing game, fantastic game. But this one was a collector's edition, which was quite nice to find. So it comes with this uh, pretty nice case, box case. And you get the art book. Um, I'll just show you a page of this. Yeah, so just like any other normal art book. <clears throat> and you got the game, Hitman Absolution, obviously. And then the game and the DVD on how they made the, the actual game itself and some codes for guns and costumes and that, which was pretty good. Uh, especially for 8 quid, that's really cheap for a Clex Edition, especially for everything there. They did have a Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Clex Edition for 12 99 but uh, the soundtrack wasn't there, it just had the coins and the game and all the codes were missing and stuff, so I wasn't really keen on that. But yeah guys, it was just a quick video, uh, an overhaul of some of the stuff I picked up this week. 
and yeah like I say it's quick video unlike uh, normal because I'm actually going out today but I'll hopefully have some videos up for Valentine's Day hopefully do some stuff with my girlfriend and that and um, some challenges and we'll put them up on uh, YouTube because you guys actually haven't seen her yet uh, I've not done any videos before so yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this video make sure you give me a thumbs up uh, give me a like uh, put in the comments below as usual what you thought of the video uh, and what was your favourite thing I picked up uh, if you've seen anything you quite liked uh, make sure you subscribe and share and you know all, all the usual things I say and until next time guys thanks for tuning in see ya